Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can create green screens using iMovie. So just iMovie, no keynote or anything. Um, iMovie doesn't really give you a lot of capabilities. Um, it isn't really complex, but you can, you know, maybe do some tips and tricks. That way you can get a little bit more out of it. So I'm just going to show you the one I came up with. It is really basic and really simple. Okay, that totally froze. Hold on, guys. So it's really basic, but I mean, obviously, I didn't take much time on it. I just did it really quickly. You can do this in under like 30 seconds. Um, so I didn't really take much time on it. Obviously, you want to take time on it and be a little bit more creative than I was. So what you want to do is you want to get a green screen, and you I just downloaded this PNG from Google. Um, it can be like the like button or anything you like. So what you want to do is you want to go to this little crop tool. You want to click fit. You want to go here to this little square tool. You want to click picture in picture. You go here and you click zero and check mark. So you want to start from the very beginning and then you want to click back here to position your picture wherever you'd like it. So I'm just going to put mine here and I'm just going to do the exact same thing I did. So obviously you can change this up a bit. So I had mine start off not on the screen and then going into the screen gradually. So basically, this is a keyframe, and a keyframe and spacebar is all you're going to be using for this pretty much. That's what's, good. That's what's going to give you all the control over the animation. So what you want to do is, before clicking the keyframe, make sure your picture is where you want it to start off. So I put mine where I wanted to start off. Now I'm going to proceed to click the keyframe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the spacebar just for a few seconds. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So go back here. And then I'm going to proceed to move this and then spacebar again, move it, spacebar again, move it, spacebar again, and I'm just going to drag mine all across. So it would look something like this. So mine was pretty fast, but basically all you're really going to do is use the animation. You're just going to click this button one time and that's it. And then um, you're going to wait a few seconds, space bar, move it, space bar, and move it, and space bar. So that's basically how the drill goes. Then you can add um, any type of sound effects that you want. I have a list, I have popular um, sound effects on my channel, so I'll put that in the description. Um, this one is really used. Um, the one that's also really popular is the bottle cork. So you just have to position it and play around with it for whatever looks good. So mine just kind of pops up at this time. So I'd use it like that. And obviously you can play around with it. If you guys want more of these videos, because um, there is definitely, like you can definitely extend this to be really creative. So if you guys want more videos on this, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll do a part two. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down requests, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.